Hey, what's going on guys? Neil here bringing you a brand new video. Today, I just want to bring you guys a video explaining stable coins as I've had a lot of questions on what are stable coins and how you can take advantage of them in your journey in cryptocurrency. So let's hop right into it. Hope you guys are having a great day. So what is a stable coin? A stable coin is a utility token built on another coin's blockchain. There is no volatility. You get the convenience, privacy, and security of a cryptocurrency, but you get the stability of fiat. One stablecoin equals one dollar. Excuse my typo right there. There's a few different types of stablecoins. There's fiat collateralized stablecoins, commodity-backed stablecoins, crypto-backed stablecoins, and algorithmic stablecoins. So fiat collateralized stablecoins, uh, there's real fiat currency in the bank, to back that stablecoin. So it's a one-to-one -one backing, and that's how you are able to achieve that one-to-one -one peg to typically the US dollar. When you redeem your coins, the entity managing the stablecoins destroys the same amount from the reserve commodity-backed stablecoins. They are backed by interchangeable assets such as precious metals. They also can be backed by other methods, uh, assets outside of precious metals. So this way you're exercising ownership of a tangible asset with real value. Crypto-backed stablecoins. They're crypto-backed by multiple cryptocurrencies. There's no single entity in control of your funds. They are more decentralized and they have improved liquidity. And finally, algorithmic stablecoins. There's no assets or collateral backing them. There's an algorithm that controls the stablecoin supply. They're the most decentralized and they depend on the continued growth for success. Uh, check out my video on Luna and UST if you guys want to learn more about algorithmic stablecoins. Uh, UST is definitely the largest one currently. So where would you buy these stablecoins? You can buy them on a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange. So on a centralized exchange, you could just buy them with dollars, uh, like on Coinbase, or you can swap Ethereum or another asset on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. And you can go ahead and buy these different types of stable coins. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. The pros are you get the benefits of cryptocurrency without the volatility. So if you're looking to, you know, send money around the world, this is a very efficient way of doing it because, you know, if I send someone 0.1 Bitcoin it might be worth a certain amount now, but in a week from now, it's going to be worth something different, even when they receive it 30 minutes later or five minutes later or an hour later. You can earn interest on stable coins, anywhere from 8% 8, 8 to 20% on some of the algorithmic ones. And you can easily buy other cryptocurrencies with stable coins. So you can keep stable coins on a centralized or decentralized exchange and easily swap them for other cryptocurrencies. The cons. There is regulation to come for stable coins. That's why these decentralized ones have a big leg up on them. There's no FDIC insurance, just like the rest of cryptocurrency. And there's no upsides besides the interest you're earning as it's just a one-to-one -one peg. So why I like stable coins is because I can earn interest on them. So I can park some cash on uh, different platforms uh, using you know, the fiat backed ones or even the algorithmic ones. Those are the two I usually prefer to use and I can spread my risk out by having multiple platforms and earning interest. So that way I'm earning passive income on my crypto. Uh, and you know, some places that I like to use as far as the centralized ones goes are um, Celsius or Voyager would be two easy ones to get started with. Um, and you guys can check out the links down below if you guys want to get started with earning cryptocurrency. Um, obviously there's some cons that come with it, but I'm willing to go ahead and take that risk. And obviously, you know, 10 to 20% interest on stable coins is very enticing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I tried to make this video as simple as possible uh, for beginners to understand. And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. It helps out more than you guys know. Check out my links below for free uh, crypto and stocks just for signing up. And if you guys want to start earning on stable coins, definitely check out those platforms I just referred to, Celsius or Voyager. And follow me on social media and join my Discord so you can connect with other like-minded people. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.